What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm gonna look at every available official accessory for the OnePlus 2, including the four swappable backs, two of their screen protectors, two of their official cases, and also we're gonna look at the USB Type-C to micro USB adapter. So there's a lot to go over, so let's go ahead and get started. These are available right now, and you don't have to have an invite to buy these. So I think what I'm gonna do is start with the swappable back covers, because most people are interested in this more than anything else. There are four swappable back covers and they are $26.99 US dollars a piece. And this is the black apricot version. There's a piece of plastic that covers the front of it and then there's just a pull tab on the back. So let's go ahead and crack into this real quick. You're gonna see me fail at opening multiple packages, so bear with me here. But the one thing that was really interesting is when I open these back covers, there's an interesting connection here on the bottom left corner. And at first I thought that might have been NFC, but it looks like these are pins to detect what kind of back cover you have for the Chinese version so you can get different themes. There's just one more plastic piece that's covering the OnePlus logo, and now it's ready for install. If you don't have your OnePlus 2 yet, it does come standard with this sandstone black finish and it's pretty nice. It's rougher than last year's and it feels really nice in the hand. But if you want something else, then of course these back covers are going to be perfect. So taking this back cover off is pretty easy. Sometimes you have a little bit of trouble with the corners, but you just take that off and then just replace it. And it's super easy. Just make sure you push the connections down. You can feel all the snaps and you are ready to go. All of the packaging is the same and all of the installs are the same. So what I'm gonna do is show you all of these on the OnePlus 2 and tell you which one that I like best. But the one thing that I wanna note is that these back covers are quite a bit thicker than your sandstone one. See, the sandstone one's really flexible and it's easy to flex like that. But these are much thicker and a little bit harder to flex. So when you put these on the actual OnePlus 2, you're gonna notice a little bit of thickness there. It's not crazy or super noticeable, but you will see that it rises a little bit above the frame. You will also notice it around the camera module for that is recessed just a little bit. My favorite out of all four is probably the black apricot version. It doesn't have any texture to it though. You would think with the wood grain look that it would have texture, but it's completely smooth with a matte finish. It really looks incredible though. Next up is the Kevlar version, which will probably also be very popular. And this looks a lot like a carbon fiber skin, but it has no texture to it whatsoever. And it feels much different than maybe the Kevlar back of a Moto product before, but it looks really good. It's got a matte finish on the outside and it's really good for fingerprints. So I think you'll like this one. Here is the bamboo version. It was really popular with the OnePlus One and it looks almost exactly the same, but it has less texture. I think the color is a little bit different, but it looks exactly like it should and it feels nice in the hand as well. And I feel like all these wood products are really, really good for resisting fingerprints. Now, the only thing that you will notice is that there is a plastic rim around the outside where it meets the frame and you can see that. So that shouldn't bother you. I don't think it's a deal killer or anything, but I just want you to notice that it was there. The last one up is the rosewood cover, and this feels exactly the same as the bamboo, so if you like a darker wood, then this is definitely the one that you should go for. And it still has that same plastic trim all the way around, it's not a deal breaker or anything. And it feels really premium in the hand. Both of these wood ones feel awesome, and they feel expensive, and it feels really good on the OnePlus 2. So I definitely recommend one of these if you want to step up your OnePlus 2 game. The OnePlus 2 uses a USB Type-C connection and a lot of us don't own any other devices that have USB Type-C for it's really new. This thing's available for $10 and the package wasn't so easy to open so I had to channel my inner floss and go beast mode on this thing to open it. The connector comes in a little rubber pouch here that you can put on your keys so you won't lose this thing. And the good thing about this is you can plug this directly into the OnePlus 2 and use your existing micro USB cords. And this is really essential for me since I am traveling. I don't have to carry that USB-C cord. I can just carry this adapter and I can just use all of my old micro USB cords. Of course, it wouldn't be OnePlus without the attention to detail. And you can see the OnePlus logo there in the front and OnePlus in the front. So it's really cool. All right, well, let's jump into the available cases. And this is the flip cover and it's available for $20. And there's five different colors, but the black one was the only one that was available for order at this time. So that's all I could get. Getting it out of the packaging, you will see a foam insert here. And the one thing that you will notice here is that you do have to take the back cover off to put this flip case on. So it's not one of those slip on covers. You actually have to put it on like you would with a swap cover. 
The flip case is pretty typical. You just open the flap and it will show you your notifications and awake the phone. So this works perfect. You can see me doing it a couple times here. It works perfectly fine. So I'm sure there will be some more functionality coming in the ROMs later or in the Chinese version. But from what I can see here, this is the only functionality that's here. There is a convenient slot here for a driver's license or a credit card or something, and that's really nice and it does not obstruct the case closing and opening whatsoever. There's a nice indentation for that card, and on the bottom you will see that it's designed by OnePlus. The case doesn't feel too thick when it's folded back like this. It's actually pretty comfortable to use, and there is a cutout for the earpiece so you can not take phone calls on it. And it does feel really nice in the hand. The materials feel very premium, and everything is cut out here, like your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your buttons are exposed, and so is your USB-C port and the speaker. So let's move on to the cheaper and only other option. This is 1099. This is the translucent gray case and taking it out of the package. I really thought that this would be a TPU type material, but it's not, it's actually harder plastic. This thing is super thin with the glossy interior and a matte or smoky finish on the outside and it's really flexible and once again, super thin. Let's go ahead and install this thing and it's really easy, just slip it right in and it fits really tight on there, but you will notice, man, there is no lip on the front whatsoever. It is not gonna protect the screen, so remember this is only for the people that want minimalist protection in the thinnest case possible. The one thing I found weird were these huge protruding buttons. I mean, these buttons are huge in comparison to the case, so I'm not sure if I like that so much, but the good thing is the buttons are extremely tactile and you can't miss the buttons now. If you look on the frame here, that's exactly how much lip you get. Pretty much none, it sits really flush on there, but all your ports are open and it actually feels really good in the hand though. I really like the texture of this. It's not slippery or anything. So if you like that smoky gray look, then this is gonna be that case for you. All right, so we're gonna finish up with the two available screen protectors here. One is the regular screen protector and the glass screen protector. We are gonna start with the plastic screen protector that's available for about $6 here. Let's open the package. And then you're gonna see a few accessories here. You're gonna see the squeegee card, the dust removal sticker, the microfiber cloth, and also some positioning tabs. There are also some directions on how to apply the screen protector on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and take this screen protector out. I'm sure this is the exact same one that comes pre-installed on the OnePlus 2. If your pre-installed one is damaged or you took it off and want that protection again, then this is a perfect thing to buy. The more interesting one is the glass screen protector, which is $13, so about $7 more, and I think it's worth it in my opinion. But if you open the package, you will see this nice glass card that's underneath to keep the glass screen protector from breaking in the package. And it looks really cool. It says never settle, one plus two glass screen protector. That's pretty awesome. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but it looks really awesome. I can't install this out here because you need to be in a dust-free indoor environment to do that, but it does fit really well. I'm gonna show you this glass screen protector on my OnePlus 2 full review, so I'll link that down below whenever it's ready. It should be coming up really soon, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. So I hope you enjoyed this roundup of all of the OnePlus 2 accessories. If you have any questions about these accessories, make sure you hit me up on Twitter at SuperScientific and I'll do my best to answer them there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more OnePlus 2 coverage and other high quality videos. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.